Hey everybody, Joshua Vicker here, founder and CEO of The Creative Christian Copywriter, Google's number one ranked Christian internet marketing company in the world. And uh, I say that humbly, but I uh, could not wait. I've been trying for the last 50 or 60 hours to do this video. Uh, we uh, This is basically pertaining to the, the new case study we're doing, um, where we're tracking how we're going to double... Um, the business of, of this boutique uh, over the next six months. And one of the big reasons that I, I wanted to do this case study in the first place was really for, it was to inform uh, Christian business owners of what a properly, uh, or what it would look like really, um, uh, when a properly implemented website um, and, and what it can do for your business. And this in particular, um, like I said, it's, it's a boutique. So it's retail, WooCommerce, all that stuff. Um, you may be a business owner who offers services. That's okay too. But anyway, we're going we're gonna to track this. You can follow along because I'll send more detailed information uh, to those who actually opt in through our website to follow along because uh, we're I'll get really detailed when it comes to the analytics. It just depends on you and, and really what you're trying to achieve here. But this case study, like I said, it's it's for it's for those Christian business owners who are really serious about uh, growing their business. Um, and if that's not you, that's completely fine. Uh, but if it is you, this is something that, uh, that I highly encourage, encourage you to, to follow along. Now, when I say a properly implemented website, I'm about to show you those things. And, and kind of in this, uh, this quick video, you're going to see um, when, I, when I use that uh, verbiage, what I'm talking about is when, when you have a, a company who is not only about designing a website, but who understands and, and follows the best practices of Google and when it comes to SEO and all of that stuff, I'm going to show you what it looks like and should look like uh, when that website is launched. Now, um, and really you're going to, what I'm trying to teach business owners as well is, hey, there's a difference between website design companies and, and, mark, and, and internet marketing companies. Because there's a lot of people out there who can design a website. There's tons of companies out there that who can design a website. But in the end, is your website going to be found in search? Are you going to get organic visitors and and start increasing your sales? And so, um, and hopefully in here too, you, you'll see the proof of why Google ranks us number one in the world. And uh, once again, I, I say that humbly, but but it is what it is. And, and I, and like I said, going back to the reason for this case study, it's to say, Hey, I want you business owners to see the proof of what I've been saying, how we can double your, your, your sales, your profits, your income, uh, in the next six months. Uh, and when it's done properly, you can. And so hopefully that's, that's what you're, um, that's what you're you're able to take from this, and I just want you to see proof of what can happen when it's when it's done properly by um, by people who know what they're doing. And so, anyway, without further ado, um, this is the website uh, for the boutique. And as I told her when we launched it, we actually launched this on um, Monday, March 9th, 2020. And um, and when we launched it, I told her I was like, hey, you know, in 60 days from now, this website's going to look completely different, uh, even though we're off to a good start. <clears throat> and um, because with WooCommerce and, and I'm sure other uh, e-commerce uh, themes, um, as as the sales continue, you can design your site differently to show different types of, you know, our best sellers and stuff like that. So, so it's going to change. Uh, what you're looking at right now is the home page. Uh, you'll see just a couple of banners that, that we put up here. One in particular, I want you to remember this banner because I'm going to show it to you here in a minute on Google. Um, and so here, here's the website. We, we announced, you know, the grand opening. One of the things that we're doing uh, to, to get this launch going is, uh, as you can see here in the, the title, don't miss out, grand opening sales event. Save up to 50% plus. Uh, we're doing free shipping. Um, and that'll be through this coming Saturday. So anything that's purchased uh, is going to be free shipping. You can go down here, shop by category, and you'll see some of the categories that <clears throat> this boutique, what it pertains to, really. Um, all kinds of neat little gifts and gadgets and things like that. 
Uh, they have high school spirit wear as well, Carhartt, um, some Razorback stuff, some neat little gifts and trinkets, neat t-shirts and things like that. Um, and here's where I put the date, 9th through the 14th. And then, like I said, you can just, you can look through there and see, see what that looks like. Now, a few weeks ago, I posted a video about the importance of categories. Um, and you're about to see the, the fruits and the results of what, what I'm talking about when, when categories and things are proper, properly implemented. Um, you can see right here, um, high school, uh, the, the spirit wear stuff you can click in and go to and, and look around. You can see what the tabs look like. This will even change. There's even pages that we need to create because some of the services that this boutique offers, they offer, you know, embroidery, custom shirt printing and, and, and things like that. Um, as you look through there, you can see that, but it's, it's just real exciting. Uh, put a clock up here, the days, the time remaining in the big sales event <clears throat> and leading up to uh, when we launched this on Monday. And actually I made the site go live on Friday, which was the sixth, uh, just because I had, I needed to connect Google analytics and some things like that. And in order to do those things, the site has to be live. It can't be hidden from search. Um, so I actually did it on Friday. We just didn't announce uh, the launch until mon this past Monday on the 9th. Um, and, and so I was going to take you one of the first things that we did. Um, we went in <clears throat> to her Facebook page. And as you can see here, um, what they've done really good, uh, really well at is um, over the past few years is just building her Facebook site. Uh, and she has over 3,600 followers. But we went in and we we did this post, and and I want you to know this was all like free. Uh, it, we didn't have to boost this post, spend any money. We just put this post out here. Uh, don't miss out, limited time only. Free shipping up to fifty percent off during our online boutique grand opening. And it has this, and of course that, and and you can see since Monday it, it reached a thousand seventy six people, five hundred ninety eight uh, engagements, and it was interesting to to see what. Uh, really what happened with this because I was monitoring when we when we shot this post out there on Facebook I was monitoring the website and everything and all of a sudden I couldn't log into the website so I called the 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 website uh, service company the uh, the server and and they said uh, well the hosting company I guess you could say uh, and they were like uh, yeah you need to basically get the bigger package what had happened was when we sent out this post, the influx of website visitors was, was too much for the, basically the package she had for the, uh, the web host company. And so it was freezing up the site and we were like, Oh no, but we got it taken care of. And that was a good problem to have as well. But you can see, like I said here, what's going on. And when they engage, uh, for the most part, they're going to, they're going to be clicking on this. And when they click on this post, it takes them to, um, the landing page that we had created um, for this specific event. And then from there, it allowed um, them, and we, we got a cool comment here, um, love this store, best staff and owners. Um, and anyway, so, and then from here, of course, they would go in and they would start shopping whatever they wanted to shop. Now, what we were tracking on the other side was this. Let me see if I can see what time we... Okay, so we sent out this post at 12.16 p.m. Okay, so now when we go back here, this is the Google Analytics for the website. And when we go back here um, at 12... This is what I was talking about here. At 12.16 p.m. is when we launched the site. And look what happened. So... Uh, in this one hour period, 92, 73, 165 people. So what happened when we launched that post just over the next 44 minutes, 175 people hit the website. And that's where I was saying we had the massive influx of, uh, of, of website visitors. 
and it, it was freezing up the website and we had to, to expand our, our user capabilities. Um, but now here's what's interesting and in, in what, I, what I wanted to show you. So we, you're about to see on the day of launch where the website visitors came from. Um, and so what we'll do, and this was, this was really just, it was awesome and incredible all at the same time. Uh, so on that day, you'll see here, so we had, I'd say 400, basically 435. So we had 435 new visitors on March 9th, on the day of launch, new visitors to the website. Um, and we'll just go here to the United States. And what it turns out being is um, from 16 different um, states. And you can see, you can tell where this boutique is sitting, what state they're in. But then look at all of these visitors around the United States that came to the website. That's just incredible. It's awesome. Ooh, I can get lost in this data, you guys. This is good stuff. Now, having said that, um, let's go, let's see where the website visitors uh, came from. And we're gonna do a source and medium. And when you look down through here, you'll see that the majority of the, the visitors on that day were, in fact, they were from Facebook. You can look at all of them. Then you look down here, North Carolina, that was an organic search. So someone had gone to Google and searched up something and our products um, popped up. And then here is six more. Seven, is there any more? So we had seven organic users to the website day of launch, which mean, and what that tells you is, um, it tells you that the SEO was, is done well, um, number one, uh, but <clears throat> those people went to Google, searched something, our pages showed up in the search, they clicked on it and came to the website. And there's a, a lot that goes into this out here, but one thing I want to show you, the importance of good SEO, um, being in Google search and, and this and that. When you go down to uh, average ses session duration, how long that website visitor is on your website. Um, some of these are five minutes, minute 35, 250. Now look what happens when you get to the organic Google. 14 minutes and three seconds. See if there's, it didn't even track it on here. Looks like it, I guess it was a quick bounce. But 14 minutes and three seconds on Google. And, and the importance thereof, if someone tells you that SEO isn't important, um, this is where your buyers are. And, and the proof is when they land on your pay, on your website and they're there for 14 minutes, look at there, they average 10 web page visits almost 11. They average almost 11 website visits um, per visitor, um, page visits. So six visitors, 66 pages, 14 minutes and three seconds on average is how long they stayed on the website. Those are shoppers. Those are buyers. That's the importance of, of your your organic being being out there in the organic world on Google being all the all the search engines the only way you're going to get there is through SEO and and people who know what they're doing when it comes to SEO and speaking of that so let's let's let me let's look at this real quick so what are some of the uh, some of the products um, uh, a pair we'll go to Carhartt and we're here in the Northwest Arkansas area. Um, and so let's let's go here. And this was exciting for me to see uh, kind of a proud moment, but mostly just excited for for my client, the boutique owner. So and you'll probably see where I've already searched some of this stuff. So so hitting about a let's say there's about a million people in this northwest Arkansas area and we have big vendors here, you know, Walmart. Um, Dick Sporting Goods Academy. We've got the same thing that all big metro areas have. So if someone goes right now and looks up uh, Carhartt Apparel in Northwest Arkansas, and if you're in this area, you everybody, excuse me, kind of calls it Northwest Arkansas. And when you study search results, you see also 
that a lot of people, when they're searching, they search up a specific item, product, whatever, service, Northwest Arkansas. So that's why we're looking at this. So we're going to we're gonna run that search. I'm going to go up here to settings, hide private results to where we'll get kind of a true view here. And these are all sponsored. So these are all bot ads. And as we scroll down through here, there's Carhartt, uh, whoever they are, Academy. Look right there. And, and actually that took less than 48 hours. That's why I was wanting to get on here so quickly. Less than 48 hours, our boutique had a link. It's not at the top yet, but it had a link um, on the front page of Google. And that was cool. And then you go up here when you start and, and uh, still there's still about 20 percent of google visitors who who will shop um, by images um, and look at this so when you go to images uh, after you do that this is our boutique and these two are our boutique this one here also we have four of the four images on the top row these are all sponsored right here so they're paid ads look at that that's good SEO. Um, that's awesome. That's totally awesome, you guys. This is so exciting. I'm so happy for them. Okay, so let's go back to the, her Carhartt products here. Carhartt, go down. Uh, here's a good one. Uh, they've got long sleeve tees. And actually, the, uh, with Carhartt, they have a graphic. I think that was one of the searches. Graphic. Yeah. Oh, let me go to my settings, hide private results. And here's the true view. Check this out. So here's the paid for stuff. And we're number one. We're number one. And this took less than 48 hours after we launched the site. It was it started populating that look at that. We're number one and number two. <laughs> ah, that is awesome. And just to let you know, uh, on the low side, in Northwest Arkansas, there's about 60,000 searches per month when pertaining to Carhartt apparel whether it's beanies or overalls or whatever. Um, good lands. This is so awesome. What you're going to see here. Oh, and this is how it should be. You guys, this is how it should be. And, uh, and just to show you, so we have not only the first and second spot, we're above Carhartt. We're above Carhartt on the local pages. Why? Because Google, is starving for local content. There's only good things that, that are going to come here. <sighs> uh, then Carhartt, 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 Cavenders. Uh, these are, you know, some local. Here's Academy, Dick Sporting Goods. Ah, oh, guys, this is awesome. This is awesome. Um, let's go to Wrangler Jeans. Actually, before we do that, let's go to images here. Same thing. We got the first two. Graphic long sleeve tees. Here's one of their Carhartt coats right here. And it shows you this was uploaded two days ago. Well, Google uploaded it. Here's one of their beanies down here. But most importantly, right up here on top. Oh, this is so awesome, you guys. I want to help you all so bad. Uh, Wrangler jeans, uh, basically the only thing they have is pro rodeo jeans. So when we click on that, we go to settings, hide private results. Here's your sponsored ads. Here's a Walmart ad. Here's Wrangler.com. And whew, here's our boutique. That's awesome. I haven't looked at images on this right there. Two days ago. It's not on top, but like I said, she doesn't have, ooh, there's another one. She doesn't have a ton of inventory. Some of that matters. 
This is awesome. It's incredible. Um, let's go to one of her high schools. We'll go to these Farmington baseball caps. Oh, it's already in there. You see where I searched it. Go to settings. Hide private results. We're right here. We're going to continue to work our way up. Here's one of our hats right here in the main mainstream images. And then when we go up here to images, right here is one of our hats. Here's one of our hats. Oh, and look at the banner. That's nice and pretty right there. Shows you a great, um, just a great shot of inventory. Anyway, I hope, um, uh, and everything was exciting. We uh, It took us about 15 minutes. We started getting online orders. It was so cool because when an order would come in through uh, through our WooCommerce, through the website, uh, we had it set up to her Clover setting on her register. It immediately started printing out the receipts. Um, and she was excited. I wish I had it on camera. The, the first order that came in, she, ah! And she, she yelled real loud. Um, she called me yesterday real excited. We got our first out of state order. Um, and, and so the first day, I think she, she ended up with somewhere around a hundred dollars in product sales from her website, but she also had several customers come in. Um, and this is nice too, come in saying, Hey, um, I saw this on your website. Uh, I want it. So, um, so I'm interested to, to really start seeing, uh, how, how this takeoff here um, is helping her financially, um, what the increase in business has been. I can tell you right now, I know it's a lot, um, but I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something from it. Hey, if you have questions, um, always feel free to, to you can, if, if this is on YouTube, go go underneath the, the video and, and put it in comments, uh, a, ask a question. Um, to follow along, go to creativechristiancopywriter.com um, and you'll see stuff all over the website. You know, follow the um, the the new case study. And I'll put a matter of fact, I'll put a link directly to that page underneath this video in the description area as well. So you can leave a comment, ask a question, whatever you want. Um, also, just click on that link. It'll take you straight to the whole uh, article about this case study tell you a little bit more about the boutique as well um, and you can sign up and follow the case study uh, from there and i don't care and and, and and we're we're tracking this hard for the next six months anytime between now and you know august september of 2020 uh, if you're watching this video come follow it uh, get some good information and and hopefully just educate yourself on what this process should look like and uh, and how it can greatly, greatly benefit your business. Um, and you'll see why we, we tell folks, hey, we're going to come double your business in the next six months. Um, I love you. God bless you. And we'll see you during the next update um, of this case study. Have a great day.